Hello, Namaste, and welcome in the series of cyber security. This side is Mina, and today I will discuss about what are known malware attacks. Attackers generally use the, some kind of software programs to perform an attack on the target. Okay, but nowadays attackers are also using the malware that no, need not to be installed on the system or the need not any uh, user intervention. Okay. So those kind of attacks are known malware. That's also called fileless mal malware. So what are those attacks and these attacks, uh, what type of uh, services or, uh, uh, or using on our devices? That's it. When we are talking about a known malware, that's a fileless uh, malware, they are using the legitimate services which are running on our uh, device, say on Windows, and it is uh, uh, normal uh, uh, services which, gen uh, which generally used. So let's, let's say PowerShell. So, so the administrators are using PowerShell to perform so many tasks on the system. And, uh, this if if that uh, service will run on our system uh, our uh, our security uh, softwares antiviruses they will just det will not detect yes this is uh, a kind of uh, malware is running any kind of attack is happening no they will say okay it is just normal services uh, that is by default enable or by default it can be run on our system Another is window management instrument. So they are also using this uh, service to perform an attack. And another is .NET. Many softwares designed in .NET, the open source framework, and uh, uh, to run different softwares, and then definitely required there. So when uh, the attackers will use this. Uh, service to run it, run run their uh, malware, it will be hard for antiviruses to detect it, yes, this is the uh, malicious activity is happening, okay, and the macros, malicious macros, uh, in case of, uh, for example, say, uh, Windows uh, operating system, uh, that's we are using Microsoft Word, we are uh, performing so many tasks with the help of the macros. So attacker even can use uh, the malicious macros to perform the, its own task in the background. So overall we can say attacker nowadays using the legitimate services to perform the attacks which is hard for the antiviruses or the security services to find out as a malicious activities. Okay. So here is this, uh, so some uh, uh, attacks which will which are using the fileless attacks. So in case of uh, PowerShell like Operation Cobalt, the Remnant Banking Trojan or the new uh, Your Sniff, okay, Triple Threat that's also using PowerShell, okay, and uh, the Fallout, the Gant Crap, Adobe Worm, they are using WMI. Okay, operation soft cell and exploit kits said. These are the just few list of the few attacks which are using the legitimate services of the Windows. Okay. And there are the number of uh, different attacks are using services. Yeah. So these are the known malware, the file list. Yeah. So, uh, how then uh, the question comes uh, then how to come uh, how to just uh, mitigate those kind of attacks? first of all uh, uh, on the normal user machines we need not to run powershell we can uh, block the that service to run on the normal uh, users for the normal users to run it we need admin run and uh, yeah so the even we can uh, Say uh, if we are receiving the file from uh, any email that's uh, having uh, macros and we don't know about uh, 
the sender we don't trust the sender then don't open and if we can, we, we can imp, uh, a limitation or the window management in, instrumentation for which uh, uh, users have right to run all these things in this way the definitely we can minimize the risk of the attacks which the attackers are used uh, to perform attack okay follow me on the cyber security preserve and get the notification for the next interesting and interesting session share that session with your friends and the group members as well so that they will be able to understand what is a fileless attack and uh, uh, how they can even uh, minimize the risk on their devices yeah and in the next session i will discuss about what are the techniques used in the asus Namaste. See you in the next session.